Hey everyone, it's Taylor, also known as Smitten Mitten, and today I am going to be vlogging. I haven't done this before, so bear with me, I'm new. My boyfriend Dominic and I are going to the Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival today, and I am so excited because it's my first time going. Um, so I'm going to bring you guys along with me. It's the 50th anniversary of the Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival, so what a better, what better day to go for the first time ever. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so really quick, I'm just gonna go over what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Tolsta tee, which is a test net I did for Rebecca Clough from the Correa Bea. And I'm bringing this bag with me, and also this bag. This just has lunch in it because Dominic and I are both vegan, and you just gotta be prepared if you're a vegan. You never know if places are gonna have food options for you. So we packed some sandwiches, some cornbread, some snacks, and all that jazz. And this little bag I brought a sweater just because I was like what if I get cold but it's gonna be get, be almost 80 degrees so I think I'm gonna leave this one in the car um, and then I brought two projects with me I brought sock gorge and I brought my cargo sweater that I'm turning into a stitch cardigan so this actually has gotten a lot of work on it since um the podcast that I just put up so anyway yeah we're about to head out it's 11 o'clock now it is about an hour drive to get to the Howard County Fairgrounds so we'll get there at noon and and we're gonna have five hours to look at sheep and yarn and wool and all that stuff and I'm really excited also Sam Barsky the knitter who like does those awesome shirts with like the national parks and like monuments and stuff he's gonna be there today so I'm really excited because I think I'm gonna get to meet him I want to know what sweater he's wearing today but yeah I will see you guys when we get there
ride today. I will go over all of this with you a little bit later. But right now we're really hungry. We're trying to find food. So, where, where are we going? Vegan junk food. We're going DMV. To vegan junk food. So. Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. Bang bang oh. broccoli. Junky tots. Junky tots? What are those? It's probably covered in chili and cheese. <laughs> and all the delicious things. Awesome. Wow. I'm very happy. I spent more than I wanted to. Definitely went over my self inflicted budget. But that's okay. It's only once a year. So I got a lot of really pretty yarn. And I met Sam Barsky. So excited about that. Literally, as we were walking out, um, we were in our last spot, last stop of the day, and we were walking out to leave, and I turned and I said, is that Sam Barsky? And it was Sam Barsky. So, yeah, I had a great, great day. It was a great first um, sheep and wool festival. So, yeah, love it. I got so many compliments on my top, too. Tolsta tea out May 12th, so. guys so we're actually almost home we ended up going to bus boys and poets i don't know why we decided to do that instead oh vegan junk food <laughs> yeah i don't know why we decided to do that instead but i mean it was pretty good we have some leftovers um if you go to bus boys and poets get the vegan nachos they're delicious anyway yeah so now we're just going to go home feed our cats put on jammies and watch a movie and I'll show you guys all of my yarn and I'll talk about it a little bit. Okay, see you soon. Can you move your foot? <laughs> so we just got home. I'm in my jammies, my cats are fed. We're sitting on the couch about to put on a movie, but I wanted to show you guys all the yarn I got today. And what's so crazy is that as soon as we walked into the house like it started raining so i mean it was a perfect day literally started raining as soon as it ended we left around what three o'clock got there at noon left at three which was a perfect amount of time for us um got dinner and then came home and now it's gonna be a nice chill night so the first purchase i made was actually not the first thing that i saw and was like oh, i need that it was actually the second thing that i bought that was the first thing that I was like, yes, I'm going to buy this. But I wanted to do my lap because I was just like, what if I see something else? But then I bought this and I was like, no, but I still really want that other thing. But anyway, this is the first thing that I bought. It's actually two of these. They're the same fiber. They're both from uh, Flora Adora Fibers. They're both naturally dyed. Well, this isn't dyed at all. This is undyed. This is the color Mossy Dusk 24. And this is Moon. Oh, it just cost $24. <laughs> it's Mossy Dusk and this is Moon. <laughs> so they're both Meadow Rustic Sport, 100% single, 100% wool single ply, 430 yards per four ounces. So like 113 grams. Spun in Canada, naturally dyed in Ohio. Look how great. Uh, the color isn't picking up well on the camera, but it's a lovely, like, mossy green. Um, I got two skeins of this. You can see, like, they are different. So, um, they're both mossy dusk, but they were probably from two different dye lots. But then again, they're naturally dyed, so, I mean, there's always going to be something weird going on, right? But I'll either alternate skeins with this or I might not have to because I plan on doing this for color work. So I got two of these and I got three of these and I plan on doing a color work sweater and I'm so excited. I love the colors. I think they're fantastic. I definitely like this one more than this one because this one's a lighter color but I still think it'll look great. I actually didn't think that they were the same color at first. I was like, no, they're similar, but they're different. But Dominic was like, are you sure? I think they're the same color. And they are, but they'll definitely need to be alternated. So yeah, I got that. I haven't decided what pattern I'm going to do with this yet. 
This is the first time ever that I've bought yarn without a purpose and it feels very weird. Like I know it's going to be a sweater, but I don't know what sweater and that's just like kind of like nerve wracking. <laughs> um, they'll figure it out. So any um, color work sweaters that are sport weight, send them my way. The next thing I bought, I bought four skeins of this. Look at this color. It's called Hot Spring. It's a worsted, 40% merino and 60% Romney. I've never worked with Romney before. So I'm really, really excited about that. Did I tell you how much, what this is made of? I don't think this says what this one is made of. Oh, it's just wool. Anyway, I've never worked with Romney before. So I'm really excited. This color is like insane. It's such a good green. So I'm going to make a sweater out of this. It's probably just going to be like a normal raglan sweater. Um, and I'm really excited about it. I don't have many sweaters that are just like a plain one color sweater with no like texture or like a pattern or anything. So I'm really excited to just knit a raglan, you know, and really let the yarn like be the star of the show. And I bought this from Holland Hoof Farm Store, handcrafted wooden and woolen goods. Yeah. They had so many really cute buttons there. And they also had these really cute like pots for succulents that were um, like little animals and stuff. It was really cute. I really liked that. Okay. The last thing I bought was from Shirsty Cat Designs by Kelly Straub. Look, Olive is back on her little spot as usual. Um, this is the color blush. I really like this. I looked at a lot of sock yarns today and this was the only one that was like really spoke to me. The pink and the white, it's just so cute and girly and I don't have a sock yarn that's even remotely like this, so I really liked it. Um, so this is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 462 yards for 100 grams. Isn't it cute? I love it, it's so soft too. And she gave me a little like tote bag with her logo on it as well. So that's awesome, I love that super cute it will this is my new project bag um and yeah that's really that's that's everything that i got um it doesn't feel like a lot but it definitely was a lot and it definitely cost a lot so um i won't be buying any more yarn for a long time but i had so much fun today it was my first yarn festival experience and it was like a really really fun one so i'm really happy that i went today it was the perfect weather for it. It wasn't too hot, it wasn't cold. You know, I didn't even need my sweater that I was wearing. It wasn't super sunny. It was a nice little bit of, it wasn't overcast, but it was like a little shady. It was just like the perfect day. So I'm really, really happy. And I cannot wait to go again next year. Okay. If you went to the Sheep and Wool Festival, let me know what your favorite thing was. If you bought any yarn, how many times you've gone. Um, and yeah, I hope you had a fun time. And I hope you enjoyed following me along on this little... Oh my god, he's on the counter. Oh well. Well, I hope you enjoyed following me along on my first sheep and wool festival experience. I will see you guys next time. Bye.